Hi, I'm Jordan from Kettner Creative. In this video, I'm going to show you four different ways to connect your phone to your audio mixer. If you want to see pricing or specs on anything that you see in this video, we have some links in the description below. Now in front of me, I have an audio mixer that's already connected to the speaker beside me and we're all ready just to connect the phone. So the first thing that we'll need is a cable like this. This will take a headphone jack from your phone and convert it to two different quarter inch inputs for your audio mixer. One will be for left and one will be for right. Now if your phone doesn't have a headphone jack, then you'll need an adapter. If you're an iPhone user, you'll need this lightning to headphone jack adapter and it just slips on the cable like that. So we'll plug these two quarter inch jacks into our audio mixer and we'll plug the lightning cable into the bottom of our phone. I'm gonna hit play on the phone now as well. This is a line level solution plugged into a microphone input. So on this mixer, we have a 26 decibel pad. We'll put that on so then that will convert it from a line level signal all the way down to a mic level signal. Next, we just need to turn the volume up on both channels and there, we have sound. Now bonus points if you want to pan those left and right, so then you get stereo sound throughout your whole PA system and you can do that quite easily. Now the downside of this solution is that we just used up two different microphone inputs. On a mixer like this, we only had four of those available to us. So I'm going to turn this down. We're going to unplug these, and on this mixer, we have three different sets of stereo inputs. So I'm going to use up five and six, which is one of those sets. Now, above those inputs there, if you can see it, it says line. So we're already at a line level input. This is what this input is made for. So this is a better solution than plugging into your microphone inputs on your audio mixer. Now all we have to do is just turn the volume up. Perfect, we're good to go, and we freed up all our mic channels, and it sounds great. Now the downside with this solution is that this cable is unbalanced. An unbalanced cable can really only be run up to 20 feet. It's highly recommended to use a cable like this that's well under 10 feet. So if you need to run a cable up to the stage, please don't go out and buy a 25, 50, or 100 foot version of this cable, because the audio will degrade over the length of that cable. So what do we do? We need to balance this unbalanced cable. So how you do that is you, by using a transformer in something that's called a DI box. So we'll unplug this from the mixer. We'll plug it into the DI box. There's a left and right input there. Now we have this DI box all ready to go and it's balanced the signal for us. Now we just need to connect that balanced signal to the mixer. So we'll plug the XLR cable that I have here into the DI box and plug it into the mixer. And next we'll plug the second XLR cable for the other channel into the DI box and then into the mixer. So now with this solution, it's, it has already brought it down from being a line level to be mic level. So we need to turn off the pad that we put on earlier when we used up these two channels and now we can just turn it up. We can see there, we have music. So what's the problem with this solution? The problem with this solution is that we just used up two of our microphone inputs again. So there are other DI boxes out there, like this Pro AV1, that will mono sum the left and right into a single channel for you. So we can unplug from this other DI box we were using. We'll plug it into here. Then we'll take the first cable out of the other DI box. Now we can get rid of that. So now we have a line level input coming from the phone into the DI box. It's being mono summed and balanced and converted to a single XLR cable. Now we're going to turn that up and we have music. So there's four different options, two of them using DI boxes that will give you a long distance run and two of them using just the headphone jack to dual quarter inch cable that will work for small plugging in as well. I do also want to talk about wireless solutions real quick. There are many Bluetooth solutions out there. Radio makes a Bluetooth receiver that will convert it to XLR. We don't recommend these for any live events whatsoever. Most commonly, we see that somebody wants a solution, then they walk away with their phone and the music dies. We've also seen that Bluetooth just isn't reliable on site when you have a room full of 600 people with phones all connected to Wi-Fi. There's just too much wireless interference for it to be an acceptable solution 
for professional events. So we always recommend that you hardwire and plug in and preferably that you're using a dedicated device that you're not receiving email or something like that on throughout the evening. You want something that is dedicated towards playing music at your event, but we showed you four solutions here that can do that. And again, I just don't recommend any wireless solutions for something like this that your event relies on. Now, again, if you want to see pricing on anything that we've talked about here, we have some links in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment in the comment section. We film videos like this all the time, and I'd love to hear from you. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.